Oh, there we have Jace, already hard at work on the jet ski. What are you working on, Jace? I don't know. You don't know? What are you looking at in here? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> so welcome back, everybody. Here we are, Jace and I, working so hard. Today, we are going to take the carburetor apart and Sonic clean the carburetor. Right, Jace? Should we go show them the new Sonic cleaner? Of course. Well, here we have our new Sonic cleaner we picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm getting all heated up, up to temperature, and we're going to take apart the carburetor, see what's going on inside there. Got a carb kit off of the Amazon. It's the uh, aftermarket version, so, but it was like, I don't know, $22. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if it does work. If it doesn't, then we're just gonna have to try to find the OEM version. So let's get this carb opened up and see what's going on inside of it. Expecting the worst. Here we got fuel pump, diaphragm. Soft on this side, but this side's a lot harder. So, that would cause issues, for sure. You can see that the throttle plate butterfly valve is a little bent on that one end. I tried taking this screw out, but it snapped and this one strips. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and drill this head out and then remove this plate and straighten that thing out. Well, after a lot of prying, finally got this out unfortunately kind of mangled it on the way everything's removed time to soak it in the bath it's probably gonna stick out a little bit but all right we'll set it for hmm, 45 minutes crank the heat up turn it on We'll let that soak and I gotta figure out my fuel line situation and the connection that goes into the gas tank because I broke it. Need to figure out how to get that back together. I'm gonna go measure out my fuel line and then go to the local fuel line store and go pick up some fuel line. We'll see you guys in a little while. So much work to do still. Yeah. Yeah. You have to work on it later and later. Later and later, yes. We're gonna work on the carburetor right now, right? Okay. I thought you were doing it. Got everything stored in here. Oh, we need a light. We need a light, right? A light? <laughs> Is that one working? Oh, batteries are dead. I'm using the original spring here on the needle and the, the, the needle because it probably has more tension than the aftermarket, I'm assuming.
Okay, so this finally came in. It took about, oh, three weeks or so. So we got the carb all together and finally, butterfly works nice and smooth. Lines back on. Okay, guys, we got everything back together, right, Jace? Yep. No, actually, not everything. The gas tank is still out. But we got the carburetor back in. And this thing. You want to turn the choke on? Yeah. See the choke move? There's the choke. Now do the throttle, Jace. Oh, boy, look at that. Everything's working smooth. The gas line's hooked all back up. Kind of going this way, right, Jace? But how do you put it in? There we go. That's a lot easier than taking it out, eh? There we go. Perfect. It's right where it needs to be, eh, buddy? Yep. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm getting the gas hose back in. There we go. Oh yeah, we also need to get the uh, fuel filter back in. So, what I did with that was put it in the Sonic Clean. So that's just the uh, bowl and the fuel filter. Let's get the grime out of here. There, all clean. So I got this copper tubing to replace this because this snapped. How's it going? Great. All right, so got the gas tank in, fuel lines are in. So we're gonna go ahead, put some gas in the tank, put oil in the oil tank, hook up the battery, hook up some water to the coolant system, cooling system, and then uh, see what happens. See if she fires up. We'll just use a bit of this. There we go, two stroke oil. Oh, cool, dipstick. Okay, so I'm just gonna actually turn it over until I can hear it sputtering. If I get it running, it's gonna shut her down. Joke on.
out and push that down. Now I'm going to do this. Pull this out and push this down. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Press the button. When you hear it, start let go of both of them. Okay. Here we go. Well, I want to hook up the water if I have to get it running. Should we try? What? Is it going to start, you think? I think so. Now turn it on? Yep. We got water. <laughs> and I got smell. Actually, you want to press the side of that? For the first time, it was pumping water all right, I think. Just gotta adjust the lean rich mixture. Also the idle set screw. It took a while to get the, uh, the fuel through the whole system, but once it did, it seems to be running great. At this point, we are good to go for a uh, test run in the water. And if all goes well there, I will think about what it would look like to paint this sucker. Maybe get a good paint scheme on it, or just change the decals, I don't know, we'll see. It'd be kind of cool to do a paint job. I'll have to think about that one. If you guys want to see a paint job, just let me know in the comments below. If you want to see just a OEM stock look with new decals, we could do that too. If you're new here, you can subscribe and follow along with the projects that we do here, and look forward to some future content. For now, I'm calling it a day. I'll see you guys next time.